Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to create a virtual device or emulator and launch session. So for that first we will open our Android Studio. Now here click on more actions and select virtual device manager. Here I will select create device option. I will select pixel file, click on next and API level 30 because this is already downloaded in my system. You can select anyone. So click on next. You can give any name here. I will keep it as it is and finish. Now this device is ready and I will click on this button to launch it. So our device is ready to use now. Now I will click on this power button. So this will start. And you have the different options here like volume up, volume down, rotate left, right, take screenshots, zoom in and other options as well. Back button, home and all. So now our device is ready to use. Now the next step to connect to this device is to start our APM server. So I will click on this APM desktop. So in this APM desktop, you have to give these two things like host. Uh, so I have given 0000. 000. We can also mention here like 127.001 and the port number should be 4723. And click on the start server. Now this is ready to use as well. Like our listener is started on 004723. Now open command from here. And here we can execute command adb devices. So here we can see emulator 5554. So this device is ready to use now. So if I want to connect to this device using APM inspector. So in APM here you can see the APM inspector option. So using this uh, um, option you can inspect the elements on the app running on your virtual device. So right now I will show you how you can connect to this device using the desired capabilities. So to connect to the particular device and to launch one of the app on that particular device, you need to mention some desired capabilities. So you need to mention desired capabilities like platform name, platform version, the device name. If you want to connect to the particular app or install the particular app on that virtual device, you have to give the path of that device. So I have some already saved desired capabilities. So you can see we have to mention the platform name, platform version, device name, this auto machine name. So these are some properties that we need to give to connect to the virtual device and to run the APK file on it. So for this device, I will copy this and our device properties and names are like pixel 5 API 30. So I will edit this here. So our Android name platform version we have to check. We can go to this option and we can check here like Android version is 11.0. So here platform name is android platform version is 11.0 our device name is pixel 5 api 30 and this is one of the app which is in my this location so i have give this one app so this is one of the apk file i have downloaded for the testing purpose and demo purpose 
so i will uh, try to install this app on this virtual device so for that you have to open the inspector session go to the desired capabilities so i will close this open this again Here you have to mention this desired capabilities. So here platform name, platform name is Android, then platform version that is 11.0, then device name. So similar to what we are doing right now manually, we need to also while executing the script, we have to write such desired capabilities. You are automated to an app. And this is the path in my system laptop so it, this will take this apk file and it will install on this platform and on this virtual device save as give that name as demo save and now click on start session so now you can go here you can see APM service is running on this mobile right now and it will install the app. So this is the automate app which is here. So this APK file is installed on this virtual device and if you go to the APM desktop this is the inspector session and there are the different options available here. So using this inspector session you can find the x path or the locators you can find the locators of the uh, using different uh, mechanism like finding the elements by id x path and uh, other options you can uh, find the elements here and you can uh, use those elements in your operation scripts so in this way we can create a virtual device you can use the apm inspector session and certain desired capabilities to install the pk file on your virtual device or your emulator so in the next session we will cover how we can uh, uh, get the elements and we can uh, locate the elements using this inspector option in the apm desktop thanks for watching